Hey guys, we're gonna take these firewood looking objects and cut some beautiful mammoth ivory blocks out of them. Okay, so I wanna give you a little backstory on this tusk. I bought this this year and it was 35 pounds. We've already cut it up into some five to five and a half inch long sections and we've already processed two of these sections. So this thing was about 10 inches longer than it is now. You can see we cut it up into three pieces here. So we cut it up into a total of five of these five inch long chunks. So this thing was massive. Uh, the story goes, this guy went up to Alaska and was hunting for mammoth ivory and they saw four foot of this tusk sticking out of the permafrost and cut it off into firewood sized chunks and brought it back to the States. They didn't think there was much more under the ice, but he went back the next year and there was another nine foot of that tusk under the ice. So it was a massive, massive tusk. But I got about two feet of it. And today we need to process uh, these three pieces and try to get some blocks out of it. Uh, all this outside is really good for projects and stuff too, but what I really wanted to get out of this is blocks because I have lots of daggers and stuff where I need a good solid block to work with so I can do flutes and things like that. This 35 pounds of mammoth ivory from Alaska was thousands of dollars, so I really want to try to get the blocks out of it that I needed. I'll end up eventually sell, reselling or using this outside bark, but I bought it to get blocks, so got to try to get a couple more out of it at least to make it worth it. So the outside, this is, this is one of the outside ends. We can only see the two ends of it like I said, because it wasn't cut up into little pieces like this. So the outside looked pretty solid, like we might be able to get maybe two or so blocks out of each five inch chunk. But sadly, after cutting into the inside, it's got way more cracks and stuff going on inside than it looked like it had on the outside. So I've already gotten like two blocks out of this whole piece, or out of, out of two of these whole chunks so far. And today we're gonna to be really lucky if we can get one or maybe two good sized blocks out of the remaining th remaining three pieces we have here. So yeah, it, I don't know. Maybe, maybe get one here, it really depends. We just gotta start cutting into it and see what it looks like on the inside because it's, it's hard to tell. Some of these cracks could be going on a weird angle or something and make it so we don't get any blocks out of it. So the goal is blocks. Hopefully we get some out of it. If we don't, then it was a learning experience, kind of like, I don't know, almost like gambling in a way. <laughs> you could buy it hoping it's good on the inside and uh, yeah, this one just happened to be cracked a lot more. So this piece here has a main crack right in the middle that making it almost like broken apart already. So I'm gonna see if I can just kind of pry it apart. It's pretty loose already. Yep. Kind of rotten inside there. So I'm hoping to get one block out of this right here. There's a crack right here, right here, and of course you can see these bigger ones. I'd like to get a block out right, right in here somewhere. I'm hoping that goes through to this side into this area somewhere. But this crack here could go on an angle and go into the block that I want, so that, that might not even be able to be a good block. It's not gonna work. Look. See how the grain is coming this way? I'm pretty sure this crack right here is this one right here. So that means this section is actually this section, which doesn't look very blocky. I don't think it's gonna work. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn.
Alright, so Kyle just got done cutting the mammoth ivory in, in a way to where it, it gets rid of the, the crust, I guess you could call it. The bark. The bark. And so now he's trying to cut uh, he's trying to cut more of a handle shape out of it. Is that right? I'm trying to get a good solid block out of here. And uh, unlike this first piece that I just broke in half. Like, I don't think I'm gonna even get one solid block out of this one, even though I thought I would. I thought it was gonna be the best one. This one is looking really good once I got the center out. I've got a crack running right across here. If it wasn't for that crack, I could get two giant blocks out of this, but I gotta work around that. I don't know how far this goes, though. It might end, like, right here. So I might be able to cut this on a little bit of an angle and still get two blocks out of it, but I'm trying to weigh the risk and make a decision on whether or not I'm, how far I'm gonna gamble with this. Go all in or, or fold. <laughs> I don't know what to do here, Josh. Mm. This crack might just stop right here somewhere. I mean, I could, I could do the safe thing and try to cut this along here maybe get some kind of weird block that's not really a good size. Or I could try to get two, and then I would have one really good big block. Or I could try to get two good big blocks that aren't ginormous. I don't know. There's a lot of good stuff in here. This crap. Comment below if you would avoid that crack and just make one big panel, or if you would actually try to get two out of it, but run the risk of ruining both of them. Is that right? Uh, definitely end up with some kind of block, some kind of small block of some sort. I never make mistakes. Sometimes the thing I'm working on, though, is really small. <laughs> I'm gonna grind a little bit out of this area right here, because no matter which way I end up going, that's gonna get ground away anyways. But this should give me a little bit more insight as to what's, what's going on with that crack there. All right, time check on Kyle again. See what he's up to. How's it going? It's going forward. So this is the piece we were working on earlier. I cut off that chunk that was sitting right here because um, there was a crack going up through here. Uh -huh. So I, I cut it right along the crack pretty much. There's just a little bit of it left right there. So I haven't cut this in half yet because I just can't decide if uh, I can't decide if I want two small blocks out of this, a medium block and a pretty small block, or a really big block and an almost unusable amount over here, which I think I'm gonna go, go towards getting a really big block and then wasting a bunch of this, just because I need the big blocks. And I can't do a whole lot with medium blocks right now because I need a lot of big ones since customer one. The customers want big knives. 18, 20 inch blades, so takes a lot of uh, handle for a blade that big. So I cut that piece in half and, well, not quite half, but I left a little bit bigger piece on one side. So I got one really good sized block out of, um, out of that piece I was cutting. And then I got this weird triangular shaped thing here that I don't know what I'll be able to do with it. It's a little bit small to get like a block out of, but definitely do something get some little scales out of it or some kind of like octagon ivory chef's knife handle or something I hate how much waste there is with this stuff but um, yeah so I cut up these other other pieces here too we got a bunch of halves sitting here you can see can't get any blocks out of that one or this one uh, or this one because there's just too many cracks and stuff going on I was I was able to get one other block out of it. I got I got this one out of, uh, I think I got it out of this. It's pretty clear, I mean it's really clear, there's no cracks or anything. I had to grind it down pretty thin though because there was like a void right here. So it's pretty thin on this end so I don't really know what I'll be able to use it for. I might end up actually cutting it in half into scales possibly. Don't really know with that one. 
I got a whole bunch of just random cut chunks and weird pieces, triangular weird pieces and stuff. Um, oh yeah, I took some of the bark. Some of this bark looks pretty and then some of it's really, really plain looking. Like some of, some of the bark like this right here just looks like cow bone or something, which I don't really like. The ivory underneath the bark is actually prettier, so I, I cleaned up uh, a couple sets of, of bark right here, and that, that'll come out there and have a really nice, clean looking um, handle scales. So I should be able to turn a lot of this bark into scales like that, and then any of the bark that looks pretty, we can uh, leave, leave the texture on it. So yeah, uh, out of that whole 35 pound piece, my total blocks I was able to get out of it were I mean, good sized blocks that I'll be able to use for something at least. I got two pretty good sized blocks out of that whole 35 pound piece. And this thin block, and then this kind of curved block. And then these two little tiny short blocks. So that's all the blockage I got. I was hoping to get like nine big blocks, but that didn't happen. And then there'll be lots of scales and random, you know, triangular smaller pieces out of it. So yeah, that was a lot of cutting and there's still more to do when I, uh, when I eventually want to get the, the rest of the ivory out of here. So. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps us out. And if you want to see more videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Coffee break. Whoo, it's hot. When in doubt, keep forging on. And don't forget it. Here's the shovel knife project we did right here. It's actually on a shirt. Woo!